What's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode number 17 of, let's be honest, whatever the hell's going on here. Um, last time, we found ourselves in Hoenn, and um, we made our way to the Weather Institute. Today, we're going to take on the Weather Institute. Um, maybe get a cast form along the way and see if we can make our way to Fortress City. But before we do any of that, let's get a quick team recap, shall we? First up, ladies and gentlemen, possibly for the final time, the starter Pokemon that you all chose... Cranny's the Pidgeotto, and by you all, I mean me. I, uh, full transparency. I just, uh, recorded a new series, and, um, I'm gonna use that line because, um, I've, I've done it way too many times now where, um, I say that, and then it's not a starter that you chose. I, I picked Cranny's. Cranny's was my choice. Uh, but Cranny's the Pidgeotto... Uh, not holding an item with uh, Gust Twister, Sand Attack, and Quick Attack with Kenai as the ability. Next up, we have the powerhouse of the squad, Itadori the Typhlosion, uh, with Blaze as the ability, Naughty Nature, holding the Citrus Berry with Flame Wheel, Swift Ember, and Smoke Screen. Next up, we've got the newest member of the squad, Charmy the Haunter, with Levitate, of course, Adamant Nature, with Holding the Citrus Berry, Rockin', Confuse, Ray, Will-O-Wisp, Shadow Punch, and Hypnosis. Next up, we have my baby boy, Fuji the Glalie, uh, with Inner Focus, Impish Nature, Holding the Bright Powder, Rockin' Bite, Headbutt, Double Team, and Crunch. Next up, we have the one and only winner of not only the first official, but the second official, Schnozoffs, the one, the only, the Schnoz, our Hypno with Insomnia, holding the Twisted Spoon, rocking Side Beam, Poison Gas, Head Butt, and Hypnosis. Next up, we have the Shiny Killer himself. Yeah. Acnologia the Dragonite. Yeah. Mwah. Uh gentle nature, of course, with inner focus as well. Holding the King's Rock, Rock and Rock, Slide, Dragon Claw, Thunder Wave, and Surf. Acnologia is here. I I am really sad because uh full transparency, I just went to go get this. They didn't have the one that I was specifically looking for for this series. And if you know what Pokemon Funko Pops they make, you already know there's only one other one that's currently on our team. God damn it. Um, but I was looking for them, and they didn't have them. Um, but with all that being said, I think it is time that we heal and uh, we get ready to take on the Weather Institute. And with that comes the possibility. I don't remember if it's in um, Emerald or if it's only in Ruby and Sapphire. The possibility of getting a new Mon. Getting a gift Pokemon for clearing out these hooligans. Oh, I could have just... Everything's fine. Why do I feel like there was something I wanted to get from the PC? Let's let's take a quick peek. Man, we got so many good encounters last time. We got Igneal, Raph, and James last time. Whoo! Whoo! Um, alright. Huh? What's a kid doing here? I ain't no kid. I was alive before you were even programmed, Ranger Zoe, and your Quagsire. Oh yeah, in today's political climate, 
Oh my god, I just realized what's about to happen. What is, I think will happen in this very Weather Institute. This, uh, this might be an occasion for the ages, ladies and gentlemen. I will say I love Quagsire Sprite. <laughs> Hello! It's me, Quagsire! I love the, like, goofy Hello Sprites. There's a few of them. Um, a lot of them are in Gen 5, actually. And I think, I know, funnily enough, I know Wooper has one. Um, it's just like all the derpy looking Pokemon have them. Um, Dragonite has it. I mean, it's literally what his Funko Pop is. It's just the derpy. Hello. I love it. I love it so much. It also makes me very sad that the Dragonite's getting green screened out. But that's okay. Um, Quagsire, you need to die. You've, like, tail whipped me, like, five times. Let's go for a quick attack to make sure I land. Because... Crannies! Is it time? I can't remember if it's this or if it's a little... <gasps> it is! We've had Crannies the Pidgeotto since episode one. Waiting, waiting for this time to embrace its true form of Crannies the Pidgeot. Damn it. Oh, I am so happy. I did not think Crannies was going to make it to a Pidgeot. <laughs> When we look all the way back at our journeys in Kanto, I did not think Crannies was going to make it to a Pidgeot, damn it. Look at this turkey bird. Look at this turkey bird. Look at its stats got better. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Um, And now we can actually train somebody else up because... Is this a 33 or a 38? That's a 38. You're a 33. Okay. Interesting. So we got to get the Schnoz and Itadori leveled up. The boss got interested in the research they have going on here. I don't know why that was such a hard sentence for me to read. So we sent us out. You quit meddling. I also got to turn up the fucking tech speed. I don't know how I made it through a whole episode with that tech speed, but... That's got to change. Oh, please tell me I put Schnoz out front. Yes! Look at that. Pro reads. Pro fucking reads. Psybeam this fucker. Yeah! This is actually, this is when broken uh, fucking self-destruct and explosion are still a thing, so I actually need to be fucking careful for that. Um, Giraffarig? More like Ferrigaraff. Am I right? Or am I right? That Mon, I wish it was better. I wish it was just like a better Mon overall. Because I do really like its design. Same with, uh, or actually no, not same with Dudon Sparse. I just wish they did Dun Sparse better. Because Dudon Sparse is fucking stupid. And then they nailed Annihilate. Annihilate is perfect in every single way. They could not have made a better evolution of Mankey. I love that mom. Did they give any other mons evolutions? I honestly... This obviously isn't an evolution. I like all of the Paradox mons. I don't think there's a single stinker. I think there... Obviously some are like way better than others. If I had to like tier rank them, I definitely could. Oh! Actually there is one stinker. There's one stinker. Let's, uh, let's see. In the, in the comments, let me know what you think my one stinker is. And then in the next episode, if I remember, um, I will reveal what the stinker is and see how many people got it right. There is one absolute stinker of a mon. And I want to see who can guess it, if anyone. I don't think... 
It's that hard to guess. I think it's a pretty easy one. I think a lot of people don't like it. Um, but overall, I'd say there's a lot of really, re I'd say it's a 90% success rate. Oh man, we have uh, great mods for these guys, huh? You can uh, immediately eat shit. Ledian, you're dead. That's the powerhouse of the squad right there. Done. Don't matter that fire special in this game. I don't give a shit. You're done. Schnaz getting that level up. A tentacool. I still ain't scared of your shit, bruh. I still ain't scared. If it was a tentacruel, I might be a little scared. But I still ain't scared. Say goodbye to your Blaziken, bro. The Schnaz getting some experience. Steelix, even fucking better, bro. Even fucking better. Eat shit. Yeah. You you have high defense. You ain't got no special defense though. Yeah. And fire type in this game is special. So eat a penis. Intentacool? Alright, sorry, uh, my lighting rig just turned off. <laughs> so, uh, we're back. We are back. I'm a little bit blown out now, and I apologize for that, but, uh, I'll, I'll mess with it more, uh, before the next episode, so hopefully I won't be as blown out, but, yeah, the whole thing just went kaput. <laughs> um, alright, uh, let me go to options, tech speed on fast. Because fuck that shit. We're Team Aqua. We appear wherever anything rare is found. What's rare at the Weather Institute? Cast form? That better mean that whatever Mon cast form gets randomized into is rare. That better be what you're telling me. Better be a fucking Rayquaza. Actually, I don't want a Rayquaza. What what hole do I need filled on my team? Because I've already got a dragon flying type. What hole do I need filled on my team? A water type? A strong water type? I'd take Kyogre. Can cast form get randomized into Kyogre? That would be uh that would be Mucho Dope or Celebi. Strong grass type? Even though I think Celebi gets like shit moves. In Gen 3. I don't think it gets, like, any good moves until, like, Gen 5. Whew, excuse me. Um, I don't think it gets any good moves until, like, Gen 5 or 6. When they, when they went in and, like, were firmly, like, getting behind the idea of separating mythical Pokemon from legendary Pokemon, which I think was Gen 5 with Victini, was, like, when they really started pushing that. Might have been Gen 6. I can't remember. Um, that's when they went and, like, redid a lot of the mythical Pokemon's moves. Oh my god. Like, that's the derpiness I'm talking about. Like, the, ah! Obviously, his sprite's just him holding his hands on his head, but he, he put his arms out. It was very cute. They should have just left that as the sprite. If we're being honest, Ranger Crystal. Wrong game, bro. Wrong game. <laughs> You're going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs? You're either absolutely fearless or simply ignorant, or both! You're so cute. You're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. I think this is her? I think this is the admin? What's her name? Shelly? It's actually Lazy Daniel. Why is Lazy a trainer class name? That's amazing. I did not know that that was a thing, and I love it. Um, uh, well, let's poison you. No, nope, okay, let's not. Apparently. The game said, no, nah, I, don't, I don't want you to poison me. Oh, okay, we're just not... Alright, it's not gonna happen. It just ain't gonna happen. Oh, but we're confused. 
I tried to poison for two turns, and they go for a move that has a slight chance to confuse, and you confuse. Cool. Do we hurt ourselves? Come on, you're the winner of the schnoz off. No, the schnoz. Um, I think we'll still be fine. I think the only attacking move it's going to have is side beam. I think we'll have like that conversion to... What was it going for that raised its evasiveness? Something? An agility. Um, so I really don't think it can hurt us that much. This is just the battle of the side beams. Come on, Schnoz, don't hurt yourself. Don't, don't, don't. Thank you. Goodbye, Porygon. Porygon, more like it. Dragonair? Meet Dragonite. Yeah. It makes me so sad that it gets green screened out. <laughs> you have no chance. You have absolutely zero chance. Goodbye. Lazy Daniel. It's bad enough to have Team Magma to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you too. What makes you want to sniff around in our business, anyways? We have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the, the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? Oh, do I have to do this now? I thought this was after the gym. Oh shit. We can't waste any more time. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. Ah ha ha, Team Magma, just you wait. Interesting. Is it actually a cast point though? It shouldn't be. <gasps> Bro, it's even worse. <laughs> it's worse. It's even worse. Some mag cargo. <laughs> Man, that mod fucking sucks. I would have rather had a CAS form. I would have rather had a CAS form. My cargo's fucking dog shit. All right. Let's t let's take a look at our dog shit CAS form. It's holding the mystic water. Um. I honestly should take that. But that's very funny. Um, alright. Let's take a rest in our bed. A rest from the bed. rest, if you will. And, uh, let's see. Do I have to go to Mount Pyre right now? Or can I yeet skeet and fight May? We can yeet skeet and fight May. Oh my goodness! I swear for you! I was looking for you! How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you! Ready with your Pokemon! Of course you are! Go! Oh my god! Battle me! I remember first time I Nuzlocke this game, I forgot this rival battle was here. And I didn't heal after fighting What's Her Nuts. Um. And I got absolutely blown back by May. Got absolutely fucking blown back. Because I didn't heal. On the bright side, it's raining, so Nine Tails can't do shit to me. <laughs> All right, Beedrill, I gotta switch. Oh wait, I literally just said it was raining, and then proceeded to send in a fire type. What am I doing? I literally have a perfectly good flying type. Right there that I could have used. Good 
Goodbye, Beedrill. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I literally just had a whole conversation about how it's raining. What am I talking about, man? And in this game, rain doesn't end. So... All right. I think it's Gen 6 that introduced weather ending, or was it Gen 5? Go to the Great Generation debate to find out. Right here in the, the YouTube channel, because I have notes for that whole series on there. Um, that was so much fun to record. Um, and yes, we do still have to do the last episode of it. Um, the, the council has all been all over the place, but I think... Finally, it's starting to like, we're all kind of starting to get in similar places where we might be able to do that soon. Hopefully. I hope and pray. Because I do really want to finish it. I haven't forgotten about it. And I know they haven't either. All right. You have a present for me. Is this surf? Or is this fly? It is fly. Ooh. I gotta go get the Fortree City gym badge. So maybe I can do the Fortree City stuff before Mount Pyre. Oh, it's Scott. Ha ha! Way to go, Ice. I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. The kid looked really upset and face all red with anger. I sure seem to run into you often. Are you off to the Fortree Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at that gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. All right. Thanks, bro. Thanks for absolutely nothing. Oh, wow. Um, that was uh, not at all what I was intending to do, but it works. Also, I apologize that I'm sniffling. Um, I am a tad bit under the weather. So I am trying to... Oh, hi, Metagross. I'm trying to just work through it, but I do apologize that I am a little on the uh, congested side. Um, all right. Metagross is really scary, actually. Let's just start doing some chip damage with Itadori. And uh, see what we can do. Oh, wow. That did a lot more damage than I thought. Doesn't that get heat proof? Huh. Okay. Well, I'm not nearly as scared anymore. I'm going to be honest. I thought this thing got heat proof. And I was terrified. And it's raining. I thought that was going to do, like, no damage. Um, but now that I know that it does a good amount of damage, let's uh, do Shadow Punch with Charmy. To not take it out. Interesting. A flame wheel in the rain. That's going to really hurt Charmy. Damn, Charmy still ate that shit. If that had went for Charmy, that would have been a bad turn for Charmy. Interesting. Very interesting. I thought I was going to be taking a lot more damage. And not be doing nearly as much damage as I did. So this is a win for me, I guess. Metagross is done. And there's the Astonish on Charmy, but it actually didn't even do that much there. I guess it's Astonish. Doesn't Astonish have like 10 uh, base power in this game? It's like, it, it's one of the weakest moves of all time, I think. I'm pretty sure it is, at least. Whoa, 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 Did I misclick? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I misclicked. All right. Charmy is over here trying to create a spot on the team for something. And there goes Charmy's Citrus Berry. Great. Oh, and there goes Itadori's Citrus Berry. Great. Fantastic. Definitely wanted to use those there. That sucks. <laughs> it's whatever. I can always get more citrus berries if I want. Alright. 
that was uh that was honestly a little spooky mind you half of the reason it was spooky was because i misclicked but something unseeable oh <gasps> we're about to get cackling on encounters aren't we I say encounters because how I do Kecleon is the one that I get from getting the Sylph Scope is a static encounter. The first one that you do on the bridge with Steven, that's a static encounter. Then the one that's in front of the gym is technically a Fortree City encounter because there's nowhere else you can get encounters in Fortree City. So you get two Kecleons. Or you use Kecleon for two encounters. Is how I do it. Ultra Balls. I can only buy 10. I feel like it's more effective for me to buy Hyper Potions then. Because how am I doing on Great Balls? I have plenty of Great Balls. Alright. So let's, uh, let's fucking do this shit. Let's go, uh, see if there's a certain champion around who would like to uh possibly have a champion time oh shit wrong champion fuck <laughs> um all right we can also get a route 120 encounter this bitch why am i carrying this parcel bitch i don't give a shit rich boy if i was a rich boy my name would probably be Noel. Um, alright. This is actually, uh, I don't have a whole lot for you. I think I'm actually just gonna stay in. Because I don't think it's gonna have a strong bug move. Mainly because I don't think there are any strong bug moves in this game. <laughs> I think bug really got its first big buff in Gen 4 and then again in Gen 7. With X Scissor and Leech Life, respectively. Um, I really don't think Armaldo can do a whole lot to me. So, goodbye. Level 36 for the Schnoz. Houndor. That we definitely can't stay in on. Um. Ah, fuck it. Let's go out in the crannies. Ah, fuck it. Yeah. Immediate. First turn as a Pidgeot gets a crit. Look at that back sprite, by the way. I love that back sprite. Parasol can't ward off Pokemon attacks. Congratulations. You have stated the obvious. Alright. Our encounter on route, what is this, 120? <laughs> the other Gen 1 poison type. Um, now all we need is a fucking Ekans and we'll have the whole fucking trio. <laughs> I'm not mad. I, I like Muck too. As I've said in the past, uh, before Ice was my favorite type, when I was a really little kid, my favorite type was actually Poison. Um, I loved Poison types. And Muck is a big reason for that. I love Muck. So... I'm uh, very happy. Muck and Surviper are like the two big reasons for that. So, I am uh, very, very happy with the uh, little grimy. Um. We got. We got Henry. Because I feel like he'd talk like Henry from Black Clover. Hey guys, it's me, Henry. Here we go. Hmm, Ice, hi, it's been a while. There's something here you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on an invisible obstacle, no, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Ice, are you ready for a Pokemon battle? Ice, show me the true power as a show me your true power as a trainer. All right. 
So our first Kecleon, this one is a static encounter, is a Wurmple. A level 30 Wurmple. Great. Um... One, two, three, dog. I was not, if it didn't stay in that ball, I was just gonna kill it. <laughs> I, I caught it literally for dupes and species. Um, and I already know the name for it. People in my friend group who watch this, you'll love this. It's Flatworm Friday. Um, all right. I see, your battling style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Dewford. I'd like you to have this Devon scope. Or actually, am I wrong? Does the Fortree one not fight you? Is that the one that just runs? I think it might be the one that just runs. We'll see. Are we gonna do the gym today? We're definitely not gonna beat the gym. I definitely no, we're definitely not gonna do the gym. Definitely not. The Devon scope. Let's go. Oh, it does just run. Damn. I am curious to see what the other Kecleons are gonna be though. I wonder if they're they shouldn't Oh fuck. They should not all be Wurmples. Because I I don't believe that's how the game's randomized. Um, they should all be different things. So, like, the next one could be a Kyogre. And if it's shiny, I can catch it. <laughs> and if it's shiny, I can catch it. That's pretty much the only way I'll be able to catch whatever this next Kecleon is. But I just want to see. Ursaring? Oh, I can't wait for them to let the uh, Hisu Hisui... Mons into Gen 9. I love Ursaluna. I, I mean, I love all the Hisui Mons, if I'm being honest. I don't... That one? Those set? I don't think there's a single stinker in there. Uh, Winrear is dope. Ursaluna is dope. Lilligant is dope. Electrode is dope. Um, Avalug is fucking amazing. Um, Basque Legion is so needed. Um, should have been there from the fucking start, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, Arcanine is great. They're all just fucking fantastic. Alright, let's see what this, what this Cacleon is. Just strictly out of curiosity. It's a Growlithe! Speaking of Arcanine. We already have some... Fire, uh, fire types, if you will. Some powerful fire types. So, I'm not super mad about missing out on that one. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there is one more back on the other side of Foratry. Right around. I do wonder, did I just skip the Mount Pyre stuff? Like, am I supposed to go to Mount Pyre right now? <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Huh. It's another Growlithe. Interesting. Maybe I... Did mess up the random... I, I don't know. Um, but then, no, because then why would the one I copy a Wurmple? Weird. That might just have been, like, a genuine coincidence. Which would be wild. Um... All right. Oh, wait, there's one more here, I think. I think we can test this one more time. Because if this is another Growlithe, then we'll know for certain. Oof, that's brutal. We could have had a Gardevoir. That's brutal. I mean, we have the Schnoz, though, so we're fine. Um, We're going to check this one thing, grab that item, and then uh, we're probably going to wrap it up and do the gym in the next episode. Let's see, is this another Growlithe? It is. Okay. Weird. Huh. Interesting. So then if the one in four tree was a battle, it would have just been another level 30 Growlithe. So. Yeah. I'm not super upset about missing that. 
grab this item. And, oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I think we can get one more encounter. That's how we we'll wrap up. I think you can get an encounter in here. Bruh, look at this slow, bro. Hey, guys. This is another one of those derpy sprite mons. Today's just been the day of the derp. Um, let's see. Can you get an encounter in here? I don't know why I have, like, a specific rem uh, memory of trying to get- of always trying to get an encounter in the Scorch Slab and never getting one. I'm starting to think I was right. I'm starting to think that there isn't an encounter in the Scorch Slab. All right. It looks like there's not an encounter in the Scorch Lab. So, we're going to wrap up right here. And next time, we will take on Winona and get our sixth fucking badge. Uh, but as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's uh, episode. And from me, Anachnologi the Dragonite, as always, keep it.